Hey guys, it's Natalia and welcome back to another video. So today I just want to make a little dress and kind of see where it takes me. I don't have anything planned for it. I just know that I want to use this leftover fabric that I had from a custom order. I don't have like a whole, whole lot of it necessarily. It's like a weird cutout of it, but I want to use this and make some sort of like zero waste, one of a kind piece that I will then maybe sell on my website if I like it enough. But yeah, I don't have any ideas. I kind of just want to drape around with this and like play with it and kind of show you guys kind of that process. This fabric is a knit, so it means it is very stretchy and it won't need any like darts, probably won't need a zipper or any sort of closure. And I will be sewing it all with my serger. If you don't have a serger, you can always sew it with a regular machine, but use a knit needle so that it actually sews it correctly. But I find that the best way to do it is always with a serger because it gives the seam a little bit of stretch as well, just because of the way a serger sews. So without further ado, let's get into it i'm gonna like step back so you guys can see this but i have like a pretty decent chunk all right so there's this one side that's longer as you can see so i was playing around with the idea of making it some sort of asymmetrical thing where this side hangs lower than the other maybe it's something that we could play with or we could just not even care about that and just use that piece for something else i was also kind of playing with the idea of making it like a flowier type of skirt or just have like a more layered textured type of skirt with like a basic top or maybe add like a random like seam through the middle of the top because we can that could be fun so yeah those are the ideas i'm kind of playing with i might honestly do that so i think i'm gonna go ahead and make kind of like a more basic top for it so i went ahead and pinned right up at the shoulder i'm gonna bring this over and pin at this shoulder as well making sure that there's enough fabric back there to make it all the way up to the top with this fabric i don't know how well it comes up on camera but there is like lines to it it has like texture so it's super easy to see whether or not it's like on grain if the lines are going perfectly up and down so i'm gonna go ahead and just pin at the shoulders so that it stays in place before i start snipping into it and you want to make sure there's enough fabric out here to go to the sides as much as you need it to because you don't want to like come short of it if it, the fabric only like came to here but it does stretch out and i can make it go to the side seam so you want to make sure you have enough fabric for that but yeah i'm gonna pin a little bit more here I really love draping with knits because you can literally just stretch out the fabric and make it fit and move it around really easily without having to worry about darts or anything like that, which is kind of the best. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clip into this. And now you can see that that lays a lot better because there's not as much tension and you can clip into it a little bit more to release all of that tension. All right, so now I have the top kind of just draped on here. I still have all this excess right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually cut into that just so that it's not bothering me or pulling on it right here and I can kind of work on it a little bit better. So there's that. Now I don't know what I want my neckline to look like, so I like to play around with this. You can also get like washi tape or electrical tape or just anything. This is what we had to get in school. I don't know what it's officially called and I had a friend buy it for me, so love that. But essentially it's just this little ribbon thing, so nothing fancy. But you can use this to play around with different shapes. You can kind of pin it around and be like, oh, do I want to make like a v-neck do i want like an asymmetrical line like this which honestly might be cool you can play around with like that and then bring another one here so you can see what it would be like as like a v-neck for example i think i might just go with like a basic kind of scoop neck so nothing wild there but So for example, here's like a scoop neck and then you would like cut into this or you can like kind of mark it and then like put it on a table and cut it out more evenly if you wanted to. But yeah, I'm thinking I might do a little scoop neck moment and then we'll see about down here. I'm still, maybe I'll like make it asymmetrical over here. Maybe I'm just gonna leave it and play with it. 
Um, okay, we're gonna leave this there just because I'm not sure about it just yet And we're just going to drape the back really quick So I'm basically gonna do the same thing as the front here and just drape like a pretty basic back So now I have the back pretty much draped and the front now I'm gonna actually think about how I want to go about the rest of this because this is just like basically Stretched over draped and now I can literally do whatever I want with it. So that's the hard part <laughs> So I'm thinking that because the front is longer than the back, I could maybe do like a fun little like V situation where it comes down here and then you have like the skirt kind of coming out of it. That could be fun. That's kind of what I am playing with right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this and kind of roughly play around with it. <laughs> So I was thinking kind of having it at the waist here in the back and then having it come forward like this. But I'm trying to think, A, if this is enough fabric for that because it would have to be like on bias so that it would kind of like lay in a more fun way. But I don't know if I'm gonna have enough to cover all of it. But I feel like this could be cute. It would be like a fun little moment. Like if I, let me pin this up. If that's there, that would be pretty cute. I feel like that would be fun and have it the same on that side, but then have it be like an actual fuller skirt in the back. That might be it. That might be the idea, ladies and gentlemen. I am not mad about that. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and like actually cut into all of this and get it ready to just like run it through the serger really quick. And then we'll add the skirt onto it once the top is kind of already done. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the scoop neck and in the back, I might, yeah, I might just leave the whole thing in the back. So I'm putting pins where the shoulder line is on the mannequin, like this line right here, just so I can kind of feel out where that line's gonna be. And then I can kind of cut the excess around that. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So now I'm gonna take this and taking where this line ends, I'm gonna kind of extend it. my neckline pinned all the way around I can go ahead and start actually cutting into it so this is what the neckline looks like now that it's all cut out and here is the back so now we're gonna finish up the sides of the back before we take it off and then finish the front just because the back is over the front right now so I want to make sure that it is cut where it needs to be with the right seam allowance and everything and then we're gonna take it off and do the same thing to the front because the front as you can see is extended over all the way here and obviously we just need it to be right there where the meets the back but I don't want to take off the back to have to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and fix the side seams of the back first because that's also over the front and then we'll do the front if that makes sense <laughs> So now I have the back pretty much fully done. Everything is cut to where it needs to be. So I can go ahead and take it off and then go ahead and do the same thing to the front. So I'm going to not fully take it off, but just kind of it away from the front so that it's not on it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and fix up everything like I did the back. So fix up the shoulders, the side seams, all of that. So um, let's do it. So now that I have both the front and back pretty much cut and ready, I'm gonna go ahead and pin together the front to the back. There's not really like a right or wrong side of this fabric. I really tried to look at it for a very long time and couldn't figure it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like pin it together so I can run it through the serger really quick. And then we can start working on the skirt. Pin 
pinned and ready to go so i'm gonna go ahead and search all of the seams really quick and i will be right back and here we are it is now sewn and ready to go so it looks really good fits really well obviously the great thing about knits is that it literally is always going to fit even if you like take it a little bit too much or like not enough whatever there's always room it's very forgiving which we love so i'm gonna go ahead and start messing around with the skirt of this all right so i brought the mannequin up a little bit so you guys can see this better but i only have this much left of fabric there's not too much so i'm trying to figure out what the best way to go about this is because obviously I want to make sure there's enough to cover the whole thing but it's a little harder when it's going to be like on bias. Maybe I'll make it in like panels and we'll do like one here one there and then the two front ones. Maybe that's going to be easier than trying to get the whole thing into one piece. So maybe that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to start at the back because that needs the most coverage because there's like all this room whereas the front you have a little bit less that you need right there. So I love draping like skirts, ruffles, whatever on bias because it's literally the most satisfying thing in the world. Actually, first things first, I'm gonna turn this inside out so that I can then pin it directly to it as well. So uh, that's what we're gonna do real quick. Okay, now we can drape. Anyway, as I was saying, I love draping skirts on bias. It's super satisfying of a process, which you will see in a minute, but I'm wondering, that's gonna be way too short. I can do this for the front. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the center uh, back. So you want the center back to be on green, and then the rest of it is going to start falling this way. So you wanna make sure that there's enough room up here for this to then be like, cut into. So I'm going to go ahead and pin this onto the center, making sure obviously it's on grain. I'm just lining up the lines here because my fabric has them. So it's nice and easy. I'm going to go ahead and continue it down here too. So now here comes the fun part. So to drape on bias, obviously bias means that it is on the like diagonal of the fabric instead of like being on the straight grain. So to start doing that, I'm gonna take away this pin and kind of shift the fabric down a little bit like that and then pin it to the waist and cut into it. And basically that's all you're gonna be doing is like pinning and slashing and pinning and slashing, which is super fun. Don't know why, I find it super satisfying. And then as you can see, this starts to form a more fuller skirt. Obviously it can be more or less dramatic depending on how high you bring this up and then how much you cut into it, but I don't want it to be like super, super dramatic because I don't want to take up too much fabric because I need it to cover the rest. So I'm going to kind of leave it like that and then the rest of this, you can kind of figure out where you want it to end if you want it to end on the straight grain here. So now I'm just going to add some extra pins before I cut into this anymore. And then obviously when you make your slashes, you don't want to cut all the way down to the pin because you don't want it to cut into it too much. So just be mindful of that. And then I'm going to go ahead and roughly cut where I want it to be um, hemmed just so that I don't waste too much fabric in this layer. Well, that is a little bit short, not gonna lie. Oops. We'll figure it out. It's fine. Okay, so that took up a lot of fabric. Will I have enough to finish this whole thing? We will see. We might have to reassess here somewhere, but it shouldn't be too bad. Maybe I'll have like just enough. We'll see. We will see. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this other side. So we have the back fully covered. Now let's figure out if we have enough for the front. This is how much we have left. So it's very questionable whether or not I will have enough for this. But you know what? Maybe I will. It just might be very short, but I think we can make it. Cause there's this piece, this piece that kind of has that perfect shape already. And it's like on bias pretty much. So I could just do that. And then the other side should fit the other part. So we're just gonna play around with it. We're gonna see what we can do.
skirt fully done. I was able to manage the full skirt, which is very exciting. So I have it all the way around. The only problem is, it's probably gonna be a little short, but other than that, I've got a full skirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of pin everything to each other so I can start sewing it together. And once I have it sewn together, then I will get right back to you. I basically just have these seams, the side seams, then there's the center back seam, and then putting all of this onto the uh, actual bodice. So I'm gonna put together the skirt first and then sew it to the bodice. Not too bad. This actually turned out really freaking cute. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish off all of the edges, all the hems, everything like that, just to like fully finish it. And then I'll try it on and show you guys the finished result. I hope you guys liked it if you did give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want more videos like this of just making like fun little one-of-a-kind pieces that I might put up on my shop might just keep for myself don't know we will see but yeah let me know if you like these and subscribe for more if you're not already and I will see you guys in the next one bye